Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts with me, Phil Bars. It's that time of week again, and for the final time in this year's Unibet Premier League, it's Premier League preview time. Before we get to the final night of the O2, let's rewind, let's go back to Leeds for what was a drama-filled night and a race for the O2 that we won't forget. Uh, first up, Gowen Price had to win against Peter Wright to have any chance of going to the O2. Did he? Yes, of course he did. An 8-3 win. The Iceman took out crucial shots at crucial times, at 106 in particular, early on in the game, put the pressure on Snake Bite, and Wright held up to everything, um, but just didn't quite have enough on the night. He, he played okay, but uh, Gowen Price was sensational. Has to be said, the Iceman's had a really, really good campaign. He's box office. Whether you like him or not, he is absolute box office. But was that win enough to send the Iceman to the O2? Find out. Then from there, Daryl Gurney played Michael Smith. With Price winning, Gurney had to win. Had to get something from the game. Did he? Yes, an 8-3 win over Bully Boy Michael Smith. But that scoreline doesn't really tell the story of the game. There was twice in legs that Smith had three clear darts at double. Missed them. Gurney took full advantage and played so well on the night. But... It's those fine margins, those two legs could have swung the other way and we might have had a different outcome, but we didn't. Darrell was absolutely outstanding on the night. An 8-3 win, sending him into the playoff places as it stood. But there was still so much more drama to come. So, Gerwin Price was out because Darrell won. But was that win going to be enough for Darrell? Find out. Uh, and from there, Michael Van Gerwen played Mensal Sulevic. This was a must win for Sulevic. If he again if he wanted to get to the O2, could he? No, he couldn't. Michael Van Gogh was just too strong on the night, raced into a 4-0 lead, and then almost switched off because he's sort of like, nah, I'm, I'm a bit bored. You could see it in his face, and he said afterwards that he has been complacent at times in this year's Premier League. But an 8-5 win in the end for Michael, heaping the pressure onto Rob Cross. And with that result, we knew what the final four was going to be. It was just a case of then what order they played in. So, could Rob Cross stand up to the test against James Wade, one of the players of the Premier League this year? No. The machine doing what James has done his whole career, and especially in this year's Premier League, an 8-6 win for James Wade. Rob saved his worst game of the Premier League till last, only a 92 average when he needed to win to top the table and join a very exclusive club of players that have topped the Premier League table. It wasn't to be for Voltage, but he'll come again um, in the finals this week. He'll be back bigger and stronger. Just a little bit of, um, not inexperience, but just game management at times. He just didn't settle himself, really. But James, sensational. Big shots at big times. He is playing the darts of his career. No question about that whatsoever. And he is going to be an absolute huge danger at the O2 this week. So the table finished up. Michael Van Gogh in tops the table with 23 points. Rob Cross second with 22. James Wade third with 20. Daryl Gurney fourth on 19. Then under that, it, they were playing for prize money. Uh, Price on 18 points. Mensa 17 points. Michael Smith 10 points. Peter Wright nine points and then obviously Barney bottom was eliminated at judgment night on four points but remember only played um, half the games again what do we all think of the contenders again as we're having a look back over the whole Premier League let us know in the comments now did you like the contenders did you not right so we now know who is going to the O2 this week and who could be crowned Premier League champion Michael Van Gogh a one to two bookies favourite as we speak right now Rob Cross, 4-1. to one. James Wade, 7-1, to one, which I think is a huge price right now on the machine. In the other half to Michael Van Gogh, but we'll come on to that shortly. And last of the four is Daryl Gurney, 11-1. to one. Again, a big, big price considering the form he's in and what he's done already. All those odds are with title sponsors, Unibet. So if you fancy a flutter, head over to Unibet's website on the outright market. So, looking at the O2 this week, it's finals night. It's just a great showcase, this. It's 16 weeks. We've been up and down the country, across the Europe, and this is it. This is what it all boils down to. Four players on one night. First game, or first semi-final, sees Michael Van Gogh and take on Daryl Gurney. Michael 1-5 with Unibet. Daryl 7-2. to two. 
a big price on Daryl considering he's beaten Michael in his last three games. I know, it doesn't happen very often, but Michael will be focused. He said last week he now has a week to prep and get mentally ready. Something his preparation hasn't been the best at times this year, but he said he will be ready come the 0 2. Daryl will be just on a high right now. Did an exhibition with him in Scotland with Gary Anderson at the weekend, was in great form. This could be a really good game, I have to say. But I think Michael, over the longer format, just nicks this one, but it should be a very, very good game, I have to say. I'm going to go Michael to win this one. I'm going to go 10 7, quite close. Lots of 180s in this game, I think. Really looking forward to the first semi final, but Michael to win just for me. Then, second semi final. It's a repeat of last week in Leeds. It's Rob Cross against James Wade. Really looking forward to this game. James, been here, done it before. Rob came to the O2 last year for the first time, and he openly admits didn't perform, was disappointing on the night. Voltage wants to put that right, but James beat him last week. Will that play on Voltage mind? Questions will need to be asked. Uh, Voltage, 8-13, to favourite with Unibet, considering that he was beaten last week. James, 13-10. to I think that's an absolute monster price, I have to say, on James Wade. Just keeps getting better and better. He's beaten everyone in this year's Premier League. Huge price, I have to say. Who do I think wins? I think Rob Cross hits the most 180s over the longer format, so that would be a separate bet. But I'm going to go James Wade to steal this one. I just think maybe something written that James Wade for this year's Premier League, he's, as I say, results have been huge. He's got big results when it matters. So I'm going to go James Wade to win this one. I'm going to go 10-7 to James Wade, which gives us an MVG versus James Wade final. If I'm right, I'm not saying I will be, but that will be my final. Remember... In the comments below, drop your score lines for the semi-finals, whether you're watching on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Give us your score lines below. If you can't be at the O2, remember, follow us at Live Darts, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and the website. We have everything covered, and I mean everything covered, for you in the build-up for the Uni Bet Premier League. We'll be at the media day on Wednesday. We'll be live from the O2 on Thursday, so we've got it all covered. You don't need to go anywhere else. And of course, on the website, we'll have the best sign-up offers, our betting tips, so and how to stream outside the UK. So you don't need to miss anything. Just follow us here at Live Darts. Before we go, remember, please subscribe, hit the bell button, turn notifications on. And if you like this video, just drop us a like. Or if you're watching it on Facebook, please share it. Or on Twitter, give us a retweet. Whichever one, let's get this out there. Because I know you've loved our coverage. And say thank you very much from Jay and I in this, week's, this year's Premier League. Um, it's been a great trip, but we're not finished yet. One more big push in this year's Unibet Premier League here at Live Darts. So thank you very much, everyone. Mm -hmm.